Welcome back to another show of Golf Tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll visit Lakeland Golf Club, a beautiful course to play in St. Paris, Ohio. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. Now, in this first segment of today's show, we're going to cover chipping, and I've got one of my students here, BJ. Hi, BJ. Hi. How are you? Good. Here you go. I'm ready. Right. Okay, so we're going to cover some short games, some chipping here, and I'm going to demonstrate a few shots sure. for you. Okay. All right. Now, let me grab these new Vice golf balls and uh, hit a few shots. Now, try to watch what I'm doing here. I'll try. All right. Now, with your wedges, when you chip, you play the ball back in your stance off the inside right knee. Mm -hmm. Your wrists stay stiff and firm. Hands are under your chin. So if your hands are under your chin and the ball's back in your stance, your hands are slightly ahead of the golf ball. Okay? So take a few practice swings here. My wrist will stay stiff and firm. I have the ball back in my stance and just back and through it with the arms. How hard to swing is the guess? But my hands are out ahead. See how my feet are, BJ? Mm -hmm. Okay. Back and through it. Almost. Okay. My wrist stays stiff. Now, I, what I like to do is I like to, so to speak, skid it in there, keep it low, and uh, hopefully get it close to that hole. A bit harder. Okay. Two more here. My wrist stays stiff. Hands are under my chin, so my hands are slightly ahead of the ball. Ball position back in my stance. Okay, should be able to one putt that one. And one more here. See if we can curve it around that one golf ball. Get in there. Ah. Almost. All right. Okay, you ready? <laughs> ready. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Now take you some practice swings. Okay. With this. Yeah. This. Now you have your pitching wedge. Okay. This is my pitching wedge. Take some more practice swings here. Let's see what we got here. And I always tell all my students try to brush that grass. Always hit the area under the ball, which is grass, and you'll pop it up a little bit and get it to roll. So she's going to play the ball back in her stance off the inside right knee. Now, if she was a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Okay, wrist stay stiff. Good line, BJ. All right. That's not bad. Let's see some more practice swings here. Now, when you have been chipping, have you been using a 7, 8 iron? I usually use my 8 iron. 8 iron, sort of like a bump and run shot. Right. Okay. See some more practice swings here. And notice how she's keeping her wrist stiff and firm. She got the ball back in her stance off the inside right knee. And she's staying down. She's hitting the grass under the ball. That is crucial. You must stay down and hit the area under the ball to get the ball up in the air a little bit. And also, BJ, are you picking a spot out on the green where you want that ball to land? Yes. You know, that's crucial. We, we have to read the green. We have to see, read it and see if it's going to break right to left, left to right, or go straight. So we need to pick a spot out there and practice swing to that spot. What a lot of amateurs do, they look at the hole, they take a practice swing. They look at the hole, they take a practice swing, and nine out of 10 times, they're gonna be long. They've gotta pick that spot out. They've gotta oh, practice good. swing to that spot or area, and hopefully hit that spot or area, and then let it roll to the hole. Okay. All right, let's see another one here. Popped it up oh, pretty good, a little long on that one. Long. And how hard to swing, that's a guess. Yep. All right, let's see some more practice swings. Now, let's say you had 10 golf balls, yes. and you were chipping from around the green with 10 balls. Mm -hmm. How many of those 10 golf balls would you get close enough to the hole to one putt, do you think? Seven. Seven, that's very good, that's yep. very good. That's ahead of the norm there, and that's what you want to do. You know, we've got to be able to chip on a one putt. You want to save yourself those strokes at the end of the day. Right. All right. Let's and it depends that. on how good you putt, too. That's true. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Very that's a good nice. one. Not bad. Yeah. I think you could probably one putt that one. Probably. All right. Let's see some more practice swings. We're going to nick that old grass now under the ball. 
we got to stay down. Wrist stay stiff and firm. Ball position inside right knee. And again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. And then I kind of open up my stance this way? Or? Yeah, you've got an open stance, which is real good. Okay. When you're chipping, you're just going to use your arms anyway. You don't need to use your hips or your right. legs to turn into the shot. Right. It's just an all-arm swing, so to speak. But you got to keep those wrists stiff and firm. Okay. All right, let's see another one here. Not bad. Hey, it was coming around too. It was coming around. All right. See a couple practice swings in between shots. Okay. And see each time she nicks the grass. She hits the grass on her practice swings. That's crucial. Oh, I didn't nick the grass that time. Came up a little bit, a little thin, but that's okay. Yeah. So she straightened up a little bit. That left shoulder came up and she sort of bladed the ball. So if her left shoulder comes up, we hit it thin. Oh, now we hit a little bit behind Yes, it. I did. Okay, take some practice <laughs> swings. Take some practice swings. Now, what she did on that, that shot, she dropped her right shoulder just a little bit oh, on the downswing. Okay. And that caused you to hit it fat or heavy. Okay. Okay. This one will be perfect. All right, let's see what we got here. Wrist stays stiff. And I clipped the grass. Yes, you did. That was much better. That was nice. Much better. All right, couple practice swings at least in between shots here. She's going to nick the grass. She's going to stay down. Pick that spot or area where she wants the ball to land. Oh. oh. A little bit too hard on that one, but that's okay. Yep. All right, let me see some practice swings. How hard to swing is, I guess. I've had a lot of my students have asked me, how hard am I supposed to hit the ball? Well, heck, right. I don't know. Some people are stronger than others. Right. But the key is you've got to read the contour of the green, see if it's going to break right to left, left to right, or go straight. And then you pick a spot and you practice swing to that spot or area where you want that ball to land to let it roll to the hole. That's the key. Okay. Spot or area. A yep, little bit behind it. Her right bit. shoulder dropped yep. again. Yep. So just back and through it with the arms. Yep. Pick that spot or area where you, where you want the ball to land and let it roll to the hole. That's the key. Okay. BJ, you did good though. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Great. We'll be right back with more golf tips. If you'd like to be a guest on my show, simply give me a call at area code 614-527-9527. That's area code 614-527-9527. Thanks for watching. Now in this next segment of today's show, we're going to cover putting. With putting, it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club, but you should have your head, your eyesight directly over the golf ball, keep your wrist stiff and firm, and bring the putter straight back and straight through it. But it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club, but the key is straight back, straight through it. Now we're going to putt with these new Vice golf balls, and they already have the black line for alignment already on them. So what we need to do is, if you think it's going to go straight into the hole, if your putt's going to go straight, you'll take the black line on top of the vice golf ball and you will aim it straight at the hole. But let's say you thought it was going to break right to left three inches. You'll take the black line and you'll aim that black line three inches to the right of the hole. That's how you get your alignment. But again, it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club when you putt. Ralph? How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Okay, one of my students here, and he's going to cover putting. Uh, let's see some practice swings. Oh, now keep those wrists stiff now. We don't want to flip our wrists. Ralph's a new student, and I noticed uh, in the past he'd flipped his wrists a little bit when we covered some putting earlier. But we want to keep those wrists stiff and firm. Keep that putter head low and slow to the ground and bring the putter straight back and straight through it. Okay, now on the follow through, Ralph, you're still flipping those wrists a little bit. Keep them really stiff. That was better, there you go. But as you can see, it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club, but Ralph should have his head and his eyesight directly over the golf ball. All right, Ralph, let's see a putt here, see what you got. So he's going to use the line on the golf ball to get his alignment, that black line. 
Ralph, what do you think? Is it going to break right to left, left to right, or go straight? Looks pretty straight to me. Straight, okay. Now he's going to take the line on top of his putter, line it up with the black line on the golf ball, and connect the two as he follows through. Okay, a little bit harder. How hard to swing, that's a guess. Yeah. That's... yeah. Now take some more practice swings. I want to see those wrists stay stiff and firm. Bring that putter straight back, straight through it. All right, let's see another putt here. Okay, he got that one to the hole. Yep. Line her up there, and let's see some more practice swings here, Ralph. His head, his eyesight's over the ball. His wrist will stay stiff and firm, but it doesn't matter how he stands or how he grips the club when he putts. All right, let's see what we got. Good putt. Wrist stays stiff. Hey, distance was good on that one. Very good. Very good. See some practice swings. Ralph, if you've had if you had 10 golf balls and you put them to a hole, let's say from 15 feet out, and you're about 15 feet, uh, how many would come close to the hole and how many would go long versus short? A lot of them would be short. A lot of them would be short. And you know what I tell my students? If, if you're constantly coming up short of the hole, pick a spot one foot in back of the hole. Forget about the hole, but pick a spot one foot in back of the hole. If you get into that spot or that area, it'll fall into the hole if you have the proper alignment. So that way you don't come up short. So you pick a spot about a foot in back of the hole, Ralph. If you constantly come up short, try to get to that spot. You got the alignment, it'll, the ball will go in. Good stroke. A little bit, huh? See some practice swings here. Wrist stay stiff. Head eyesight over the golf ball. A little bit harder. So again, if you're constantly coming up short, pick a spot one foot in back of the hole, and that's what you try to get it to. It will never reach that spot, Ralph, because if you have the proper alignment, the ball will fall in. Just the opposite if you're constantly hitting it long. Pick a spot about one foot short of the hole, try to get to that spot. If you're constantly long and you have the proper alignment, it should go into the hole. So wrist stay stiff and firm, head eyesight over the ball. Bring that putter straight back, straight through it. <laughs> Good, not bad, not bad at all. That's a two putt. See some more practice swings. Good stroke. That was a good stroke. So the wrist stays stiff and firm, your head, your eyesight's over the ball, but it doesn't matter how you stand or how you grip the club when you putt. Very good, Ralph. We'll be right back with more golf tips. If you'd like to be a guest on my show, simply give me a call at area code 614-527 9527. That's area code 614 527 9527. Welcome back. Now, in this next segment of today's show, I'm going to be chipping with a five wood. And you say a five wood, why would you chip with a five wood? Well, there are some reasons why you would versus a pitching wedge or a nine iron or an eight iron, and that's if you have some heavy rough around the green. Now, this Rough is not too thick around, around the green here at Lakeland, obviously, here at the practice uh, green, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not hard. It's very simple. So you take your five wood. You play the ball back in your stance off the inside right knee, just like you would with a pitching wedge or a nine iron or an eight iron. Your hands are ahead of the ball. So I'm going to line the ball up back in my stance off the inside right knee. My hands will be out ahead of the ball because my hands are under my chin. Remember, that gives you the proper distance from the golf ball. Your wrists stay stiff and firm. Also, you come down to a steeper angle, that'll pop the ball up and it will roll. And that's what you wanna do, you wanna roll it to the hole. That's the key. I still uh, pick a spot or an area where I want the ball to land, hopefully hit that spot or area and get it up close to the hole. So I'm gonna take a few practice swings 
I got the ball back in my stance, my hands will be out ahead, my wrists will stay stiff and firm, and I've got some thicker rough here, and I've decided to use this five wood, not a hard shot. So I play it back in our stance, wrist stay stiff, back and through it with the arms. Okay. All right, a little bit easier. And that rolls it. But you want to use a five wood only if your ball is setting down in some heavy rough and the rough is around the green. Take a few practice swings again, a little bit easier. Remember, the ball is going to jump off this club face, it being a wood. So you need to swing a little bit easier versus an iron. Back and through it. So ball position inside right knee. Just the opposite if you're a left-handed golfer. Wrist stay stiff. Okay, there we go. All right. A few practice swings here. Got the ball setting down now. Back and through it with the arms. And the key is my hands are out ahead. That will make that club come down to more of a descending blow and pop it out of there. So wrist stay stiff. Back and through it with the arms. Okay, not bad. Let's try some more. So it does break right to left, so I've picked a spot out here to the right a little bit. It's not a big swing, obviously. Okay, that one rolled out pretty good. All right. Let's try some more. Okay, not bad. I'm just using my arms. It's back and through it with the arms. Don't need to use your body, use your legs, use your hips. Just keep your wrist stiff. Ball position inside right knee. Back and through it. Get in there. Ooh, lift out. Almost. Two more. So chipping with a five wood is not that difficult, not that hard, once you know the right fundamentals. Okay, one more. My wrist stayed stiff. I followed through. Get in there, come on. Oh, almost, there we go. We'll be right back with more golf tips. If you'd like to be a guest on my show, simply give me a call at area code 614-527-9527. That's area code 614-527-9527. Welcome back. Now, in this last segment of today's show, I'm going to hit an eight iron. I'm on the third hole here at Lakeland Golf Club, and it's a little bit of a challenging par three here. I'm about uh, about 147 to the hole to 150. Got my eight iron and got a breeze blowing right to left. A strong breeze today here at Lakeland. Uh, main thing is I want to try to get it on that green if I can. Hopefully, get myself a one putt, but let's try to get up there on the green. Now, again, with the eight iron, you want to play the ball off the middle or center of the stance. The four through nine iron, try to play the ball off the middle or center of the stance. Feet are shoulder width for balance. My hands will be below my chin, club head and back the ball. That will give me the proper distance from the golf ball. And when I finish, I want to finish around. I want to finish with my hands around by my left shoulder, left ear. That helps me get a weight transfer into the shot. My right knee will turn up by my left knee 
and that will give me that weight transfer also. That gives me that turn, that gives me that power, so to speak. So I've got an eight iron here. I'm about uh, 147, 150 out. Let's go ahead and tee it up. Okay. I'm gonna hit these new vice golf balls. And the main thing is when I do tee it up, you want to tee it up no more than a half inch out of the ground. But when you're on the tee box, take that advantage. A lot of people, they just walk up on the tee box, par three, and they throw the ball down. If you're allowed an advantage of teeing it up, go ahead and tee it up, okay? Let's take some practice swings. Feet will be shoulder width. My hands will be under my chin. Ball position middle. And I've got to stay down and through the shot. Hands come around by my left shoulder, left ear. And like I said, it's pretty windy, so I'm going to aim about uh, 25 feet to the right of the flag stick. Okay, we're on the green. There we go. Okay. Hit some more here. And the key is balance. You want to have your balance. Transfer that weight through the shot. If on the downswing, I pulled my left shoulder up, I would top it or hit it low. If on the downswing, I dropped my right shoulder, I would hit it fat or heavy. Try to keep your shoulders more or less level through the shot as you get the full weight transfer of the turn. So again, we got the eight iron here. Aiming out there pretty far to the right with this wind. Hands are below my chin. Here, that one. Set. Okay, back the green. Not bad. All right, let's try some more. I stayed down. I came around and threw it. These vice golf balls really go. Take a practice swing. Arms and turn. Okay, a little left on that one. Might turned a little bit too quick. Uh, that was not the wind. I did turn a little bit too quick and pulled it just a little bit left of the green. So back with my arms, down with my arms. Set up. I've already picked my spot out here where I want my club face and ball to aim to get my alignment. And again, I'm aiming about at least 20 feet to the right of the flag stick. And the hands come around by my left shoulder, left ear. Good swing there. Good shot. There we go. Down around and through it. Three more. And balance is the key. I don't want to pull my left shoulder up, drop my right shoulder, just stay level and turn. Hands are under my chin. That gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. Perfect. And we're still putting. All right. Good job. So again, eight iron ball position middle or center of the stance, feet or shoulder width for balance. Four through nine middle. As far as having your feet squared up or your toes open like this, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. That's your preference. Two more here.
Kick left. All right. It's not too far away. Good ball. All right. One more. Arms and turn. Arms, turn. Right knee up by left knee. Hands face around by my left shoulder, left ear. That's right at it. Ooh, right there. Okay, not bad. There we go. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank BJ and Ralph as our special guests and Lakeland Golf Club for having us here. Join me next time on Golf Tips with teaching professional Gary Bauer.